special thanks to Patreon supporter The Red Deer for making this video possible. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Forward 2 Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the E7K1 ALF with a crew of three. We went on over to its dimension as a length of 10.5 meters and a width of 14 meters. Its role is a reconnaissance plane, the number built was 533. For armaments, it has one Type 97 MG and two 7.7mm Type 2, 9, Type 92 machine guns. And you can see a Mitsubishi uh, engine with 870 horsepower. Performance at a max speed of 275 km per hour. But anyways guys, that's it for this and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kirtua from here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the Kawanishi E7K1. This was a Japanese 1930s three-seat float reconnaissance float plane. It was allocated the reporting name ALF by the Allies of World War II. Um, this uh, seaplane was uh, able to be used in a variety of um, you know different um, you know outfits and stuff like that. Um, it could carry bombs. It could also um, you know possibly dogfight, even though this thing's not going to really do that well in it, um, considering it's very slow and it's best caliber is a 7.62 millimeter and only has a total of three machine guns um, of that caliber I believe including the back tail gunner. Uh, the plane itself you know serves that crucial role of reconnaissance that's much needed for the IGN and just any Navy really in general they need that um, reconnaissance and stuff like that to be sure that they can stay atop of any you know Navies and all that kind of stuff and you know all the enemies just in general you know um, anyways uh, this plane uh, could be launched off the catapults of you know various uh, ships like the battleships and cruisers and stuff like that as many of them did have their own reconnaissance aircraft um, so uh, yeah this is a uh, pretty much one of those uh, overall it's a pretty cool plane um, I love the way it came out it's got a cool like um, color uh, colorization and you know detail to it that makes it look really nice and, you know, it's our first ever Japanese seaplane, so that's always awesome as well. Um, anyways, uh, before we go and get started, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to uh, the Red Deer who sponsored this video through Patreon. Uh, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel any further than you guys already do, be sure to go ahead and head over to my Patreon. Link's down in the description where you guys can go ahead and uh, donate a very small amount uh, to the channel each month. That will help me out um, continuing to uh, produce this content and all that stuff. Again, I don't, you know, force you guys whatsoever. It's just a nice thing that you guys can do if you guys are willing to and all that stuff. So don't feel forced, but it's there and there's some cool benefits as well for uh, doing it. Other than that, guys, that's going to cover that. And let's go and take a look at the uh, plane itself. I love the way it came out. Um, I think it's really nice. It's got the nice shaping to it. Um, I just honestly, I really do like seaplanes. I think they're really cool looking. They're really interesting, in my opinion. And uh, they just overall are really nice and this is definitely no exception to that um you can see we got the front up here um it has this weird kind of tubing all around the front um kind of a big tube that ran at the top here then one's on the side so that's kind of what's going on there uh you can see you got the uh, props there and all that stuff and down here you got the pontoons i believe is what they would refer to these as the basically the floats um so you have the pontoons down there uh the wings itself it is a biplane so it's got the two wings and everything like that you got the bracing and the supports and struts and all that stuff to you know keep this thing together uh you have the seats here probably the pilot the navigator and the gunner um is what i would imagine these seats would uh, serve so you know your pilot would be in the front here your navigator and then the gunner right back here um again not 100 percent sure um but i would imagine that's probably uh what it would be um got the red marking kind of a red tail um to it which is uh pretty nice on the way it looks um all the way around and as you can see, the main body of the plane is white. Um, it's got a little bit of red and it got a nice red tail to it. And the pontoons are a greenish color, which um, I thought was really cool looking at some pictures of it. I just thought that that standed out, or that standed, that stood out as, uh, you know, being really nice. Anyways, uh, you know, also looking up at it from above, you got some Japanese kind of lettering up here and a one, um, probably like the unit number or something like that. Again, I saw pictures of it um, depicting that kind of like this, uh, you know, die cast model. And uh, I knew I had to do that because I thought it looked really cool. So, anyways, guys, a lot of detail put in this plane. It's absolutely awesome. Hope you guys do enjoy it. If you guys do, be sure to go ahead and, you know, of course, leave a like. And let me know down in the comments if you liked it and it's all that stuff. Always love reading the comments. And that, guys, let's go and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer one. 
All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer one. And this is going to mainly focus on getting these pontoons um, set up and everything like that. Now, if you do plan on having this thing in the water, you're probably going to want to have this at least a block underwater. Um, just to get, give you guys a more visual kind of approach to it, we can imagine imagine that the water lines at this level right here, you're going to probably want to have it one down like this, or you guys could even have it at um, the same level as it just like this that might even work a little bit better to have the water line at the same level as this um just kind of depends on how exactly you want this thing floating it could be weighed down a little bit more and kind of just you know uh, barely keep it itself up there or you can have it kind of a little bit more uh buoyant and all that stuff kind of up to you guys but you do want to have these first these um the water level at one of these first two layers here because these are going to be where the pontoons are going to be located so just make sure you guys have this properly planned out if uh, you want this thing in the water if not uh, you have this there don't even worry about it anyways uh once you, we're gonna you can see i already have one of the pontoons built for this first layer we're gonna go ahead and basically copy what we did over here now in between the pontoons we do want to have a space of three and again i'll kind of emphasize that a little bit later uh but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a quartz top slab followed by a quartz full block and then a quartz top slab to the side so you get something that kind of looks like that after you have that done we're gonna place down a green stink with block coming off the quartz full block followed by a dark oak with top slab on the inner side of the green stink with full block followed by a quartz full block, come off the green stink wave one, and a quartz top slab on the inner side. Come off the quartz full block, we're just going to place down two quartz top slabs like that, going toward the front. Now, uh, working on the back section here, we're going to place down a green stink wave block, followed by a dark oak with top slab on the inner side. After you have that done, we're going to place down an upside down dark oak with stair, followed by one and two dark oak with top slabs coming off of it. Along the this dark oak with upside down stair and the first dark oak with top slab, we're going to place down two wooden trap doors on both sides. And then we just want to take our wooden trap doors and go from this top slab back here. We're going to place down two more going back like that. Now we're going to have that same design copied over to the other side and uh, everything like that. So you can see there's a space of three in between the pontoons, just like that. So you can see one, two, three across. Make sure you guys have that space of three. Uh, very important that you guys do. If not, you're going to throw off your entire build. So again, Make sure there's a space of three. If you have a space of one or five, you're going to miss, mess the whole thing up. So make sure that you guys are a nice um, number three in between the two pontoons. And uh, basically look at this from above. You should have something that looks just like that. And then that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys. So going ahead and move on to our next layer. Now for layer two, we're going to go ahead and continue working on our pontoons here. Now, what we want to do to start off with is we're going to place down a quartz uh, stair on top of this quartz top slab. But again, you want your level at one of these two layers. Either one will work, um, but I think the first layer would be a little bit better. But again, you guys want to make sure that you guys have that all sorted out and everything if you're building this in the water. Anyways, going ahead and moving on, we're going to place down two quartz full blocks after that quartz stair. We then want to place down a quartz stair on either side of this quartz full block. After that, we're going to take a dark oak wood stair, place down one like this on either side that's going to kind of go back like so. We're then going to place down a green stink wave block in between the dark oak wood stairs. Or sorry, uh, yeah, the dark oak wood, my bad. Uh, then we're going to place down a row of three of quartz full blocks all the way across like this. Followed by a row of three of green stink clay. Followed by a green stink wave block in the center. Followed by a dark oak wood stair on either side. Like so. Then another green stink wave block and then another dark oak wood stair on both sides. We're then going to place down two green stink wave blocks followed by two dark oak wood half slabs on either side. And then we're just going to place down one, two, and three green stink wave blocks sticking out toward the back there. And that right there is going to basically complete the pontoons. As you guys can see, uh, you know, very nice, very simple, and uh, look real nice. Anyways, that's going to do it for layer two. With that, let's move on to layer three. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. Now for layer three, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and go back to our pontoons um, and kind of build some of the supports and stuff like that for them and everything like that to kind of get these connected up to the fuselage. Now, what we want to do for this is we're going to go ahead and go to this row of three of quartz full blocks. We're going to place down a narrow brick fence post on top of the very center one. Now, going overhead, going ahead and going over to the, um, you know, facing the other side here. Uh, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair like this on both sides. So they're kind of facing each other with a space of one in between them like that uh, for these front struts. We then want to place down a narrow brick stair facing this direction after this dark, or sorry, this uh, narrow brick fence post right here. We're then going to place down a sandstone half slab followed by a sandstone top slab and a sandstone, or my bad, sorry, stone um, slabs and top slabs, um, just like that coming off that narrow brick stair. We're then going to place down two narrow brick fence gate, or fence posts like this, and then going toward the inside of the plane, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair coming off of it like so. So looking at this from above, we should have something that looks like that. Again, copy that same design we did, and on over to this side, and make sure that you guys kind of flip it like a mirror, um, so that they're, you know, these stairs are facing each other and everything like that. Um, very important that you guys do that. And that, guys, is going to do it for layer three. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, 
layer 4. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer 4. Now for layer 4, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the space in between these narrow brick stairs. Right above it, we're going to place down a black wool block, followed by a stone bun coming off of it facing toward the front like that. We then want to go ahead and go to our uh, you know sides here. We're going to go ahead and go at an angle from this narrow brick fence post kind of going in toward the inside here. We're going to place down a narrow brick fence post like this and then one more after it. So just like this, you can have the space of one in between the black wool block like that. And you can see the kind of angling going on here. After you have that done, we're going to place down a nether brick, or sorry, a stone brick top slab that comes off of this uh, narrow brick fence, po fence post right there. We're then going to place down a narrow brick half slab and then a narrow brick top slab just like that. So you kind of get this X looking shape here. Uh, we then want to go and take our um, narrow brick fence gate or fence post. We're going to place down one on top of this narrow brick up sound stair. Followed by one more kind of going over like that so you get something like so. So if you go ahead and take time take a look at this all the way around here. You can see the bracing and the lines that would run in between them and all that kind of stuff like that. Um, very simple and easy stuff so far and that's going to basically complete the, comp the pontoons and all that stuff. And now we're going to start to get into the fuselage and getting all that stuff put together. So anyways guys that's going to do it for this layer. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 5. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer over here, we have layer 5. Now layer 5, we're going to start to get into the fuselage, the wings, and all that stuff of the aircraft. So it's going to start to uh, kind of get a little crazy here with all the kind of stuff we're going to have going on. Now, what we want to do to go ahead and get started here is we're going to go ahead and take a look up here at our uh, front section here. Now, what we want to do is on top of this black wool block right here, we're going to place down a quartz top set. And it's going to be right above it, directly above it, not sticking out one, not behind it by one. Uh, right on top of this black wool block we placed in the previous layer right here. So you're going to have one quartz top slab on top of it, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 quartz top slabs. So you're going to have a total of 12 of these quartz top slabs, including this one right here. 11 after it, it's going to give you 12. We then want to place down three of these iron trap doors, just like that. And we're going to basically be able to, you know, call that good for right now. Now, uh, once you have that done, on either side of this first quartz top slab in the very front here, we're going to place down a... Uh, black wool block like this on both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone half slab next to this black stinkly block. We're then going to grab ourselves some iron trap doors. We're going to place down one like this, followed by one, two, and three. Oops, my bad. Uh, actually, I actually want to grab some quartz top slabs here. We're going to place down one, two, and three quartz top slabs, followed by another brick up and down stair uh, with its back facing toward the side of the plane. So something just like that. Uh, we're then going to place down an air quartz top slab like this, followed by one, two, three, and four iron trap doors. And, you know, make sure you guys have this all right and make sure this is all lining up. Uh, very important that you guys do because if you don't, you're going to have a lot of stuff messed up. So, again, that row 12 of quartz top slabs and everything like that, make sure it all lines up <clears throat> perfectly. Now, going ahead and continuing on. Now, we have part of the wings here we're going to put on. Um, so, for this, very simply, we're going to go ahead and go from this quartz top slab here. We're going to place down one and two. Followed by a stone top, a stone full block right there in that section like so. Then we're going to place down an air quartz top slab. Okay, so real quick before we go ahead and uh, continue on, I want to go and point one mistake I made. Now, uh, very simple fix. It's nothing major. Now, you can see right here in this section, these both sides are both different. You guys may have noticed this earlier. Uh, this These fence gates right here, or the fence posts, we're actually going to go and pull them out so that they're on top of these ones right here. And on top of this narrow brick stair here, we're just going to place down a narrow, narrow brick stair just like that. So I do apologize for making that little mistake there. Sometimes they happen and um, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and make that small adjustment and on both sides and you guys will be good to go. Anyways, let's go and continue on. Now after that fixed, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking our quartz top sides, place down one and two on the side here. We're then going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back like so. We then want to take our quartz top sides, place down a row of four across like this. And we're going to place down a total of four rows of four. So we have uh, our second row right here, like this, third, and fourth, going across like so. Once you get to this point here, we're going to take iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of four that goes across like this. We're going to go ahead and crouch in the air, place down another row of four like this. And then we want to go ahead and take some placeholder blocks. We're going to place down one right here and one right there. And we're going to place down iron trap doors coming off of them like that toward the side. Like so. So you can see the space of one and all that stuff. And basically, this is just going to cover up these um, joints right here. Um, just cover up the block from underneath here so we don't have the, you know, it's shown from the bottom. Um, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for layer five. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our, our next layer, uh, layer six. 
All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer six. Now for layer six, what we want to do is we want to go and start up by going to the front up here. On top of this quartz top side in the very front, we're going to place down a black wool block like this. Then going ahead uh, right on top of that quartz top side in the front, then we're going to place down two quartz tops or full blocks coming off that uh, black wool block, followed by a quartz top side on the very end like so. Now after this black wool block right here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight of these uh, black wool blocks like this going back so just like that eight we're then, we're then going to go and place down an air brick half slab followed by two black wool full blocks followed by a red stain clay block two black wool blocks a quartz full block a red stain clay block and a, and a brick upside down stair just like that now once you have uh, that complete we then want to go ahead and go to this this um front uh quartz full block this uh second one right here we're going to grab ourselves a quartz stair we're going to place down an upside down stair like that coming off of it we then want to place down a quartz full block. We're going to need to grab ourselves a skeleton skull. We're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off that uh, quartz full block. We then want to go ahead and uh, place down a second uh, quartz full block in there. We're actually going to go ahead and move this skeleton skull back one um, just like that. Then we're going to place down another quartz full block on the side here. Um, if I don't break everything first. And then a stone button on the side of this one. We then want to place down another quartz full block. Followed by a second one, and on the second one, we're going to place down a stone button on both sides. We're then going to place down a near quartz full block, followed by a second one, a third one like this. And then we get to this point here, we're going to place down two more quartz full blocks, and these ones are going to have signs on the side of them, like so. So on these two quartz full blocks, some signs like that. We're then going to place down another uh, quartz full block, followed by a red stain clay block, and then a upside down brick stair like so with that all done we're then going to go ahead and uh, focus our attention now to the wings so what we want to do for this is we're going to place down a court or sorry a nerve brick stair uh, one on top of this um, nerve brick up down stair here and then one up here on top of this quartz top slab toward the front of the wing you can see there's a space of one from uh, the stairs and the you know block, rows of blocks here for the fuselage um, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some white carpet um, and we want to go ahead and cover up this uh, these stairs and these uh, full blocks uh, like so just so they're not visible and showing up we want to make sure that they're all covered up and everything like that now once you have that done come up this stair up in the front we're going to place down a stone half slab followed by a stone top slab we then want to take our iron trap doors we're going to place down two rows of four of iron trap doors across just like that we then want to take our quartz half slabs we want to go ahead and place down a row of four across like this followed by a second row of four all on top of these um, iron trap doors and then we want to go ahead and just place down a third row of four like this going all the way across now when you get to this point here we're going to need to go and grab ourselves some black wool again and we're going to place down black wool on top of those two iron trap doors we have right there and then a quartz half slab in between them and then one up here in the front just like that after you have that done we're going to place down one more row of four of quartz top slabs we then want to go ahead and take our quartz uh, slabs and we're going to place down a row of three with an indent on the back here. We're going to place down a, uh, then we're just going to place down a row two um, like that in the very center to go ahead and kind of form the wings there and everything like that. Once you guys have that all done, you should get something that kind of looks like this so far for the aircraft and um, everything like that. Once you have that done, you guys are done with layer six and with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer seven. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer seven now for layer seven what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start up by going to the front up here we're going to place down a quartz half slab on top of this quartz top slab we then want to grab ourselves an acacia wood um, plank place down an acacia wood plank like this followed by a black wool block followed by two anvils we're then going to place down three black wool blocks we're going to skip a space place down a black wool block um, we're going to skip a space we're going to place down a wooden trap door on top of this black wool block right here so that's kind of um and we're going to open it so it looks like something like that so kind of like the back of a seat right here and you can see this is the pilot the navigator and also the uh gunner's seat right here after this uh trap door we're going to place down a total of three quartz full blocks followed by three or sorry two red stain clay blocks two quartz full blocks and two red stain clay blocks and your red stain clay block should end on top of this quartz upside down stair now when you get to this section here we then want to take our sign we're going to take a sign and place it down on either side of this last red stinkway block we then want to grab ourselves um some bricks we're going to place down our uh, brick slabs we're going to place down one two three three and four 
brick uh, top slabs coming off this red stain clay block. We then want to go to the quartz full block right here to the side of it. We're going to place down a row of five. And then this air quartz full block, we're going to place down a row of uh, a nice row of four, um, like we did um, previously. So something like that. And it's going to go on both sides to so get the back um, horizontal stabilizers. Now, when you get to this section here on top of this brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a brick half slab, followed by a brick stair, like that. We're then going to place down two quartz full blocks after the brick stair, followed by a quartz stair facing this direction, and we're going to place down a sign on the side of it like so. And we're also going to place down a sign on the side of this quartz full block, um, just like that. Once you have that done, after this quartz stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five quartz full blocks. Oops, my bad, only four quartz full blocks. And then we're going to place down another quartz stair like this. We then want to place down a black wool block just like this, followed by two acacia wood top slabs, and then grabbing ourselves a um, wither skeleton skull. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on this uh, half slab right here. And then uh, we're just going to place down a uh, nether brick stair on both sides of this black wool block, followed by a acacia wood half slab coming off that uh, nether brick stair, just like that. Um, we also want to go and grab ourselves a stone bun. We're going to place down one more going up on that, um, on this, uh, uh, quartz full block and then one also right here on this black wool block like so um, Also all coming off this uh, quartz stair here. We're gonna place down a quartz or a nerve brick corner stair like this And then on this quartz full block here a nerve brick stair like that So it's kind of in line here with these uh, struts that we kind of started in the previous layer Now when you get to this section here We want to go ahead and grab our stone half slabs again and we're going to continue this design we have going on here So for this we're just going to place down a stone um, half half slab like this Followed by a stone top slab, like so, and then a second stone top slab that goes out to the side like that. We then want to go ahead and take our stone uh, slabs. We're going to place down one and then two like that, so it kind of goes down. Um, so you have the half slabs and you have the two top slabs there. When we get to this point here, we're then, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves um, narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down one like this with its back facing toward the front, and then one here like this, facing the same direction on this black wool block as well. And in between them, we want to grab ourselves a brick slab. We're going to place down a brick top slab in between the stairs to create something that looks just like that. And once you guys have that all finished, that's going to basically do it for layer 7. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 8. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 8. Now for layer 8, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to this uh, acacia, acacia wood full block in the very front. We're going to place down an acacia wood half slab on top of it. Followed by two more slabs after it of acacia wood, so you have a row of three right here. We then want to place down a row of three of nether brick um, half slabs like this. We're then going to place down a light uh, gray stained glass full block like so. We're going to leave this space open right here because we have the uh, cockpit here obviously for the pilot. Uh, then we're going to place down another light gray stained glass block on top of this black wool block here. We're going to leave uh, this space alone here. And on top of the space over here where the gunner is, we're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair. Followed by a nether brick top slab coming off the back of the stair. Followed by an end rod. And on either side of the top slab here, we're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull like that uh, for these magazines. Close as I can get to the actual gun itself. Um, it's not perfect. And um, just so I don't forget to do it in the uh, future layers, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater. And place it down on top of this nether brick top slab. And make sure you have it uh, facing so that these are both toward the front. Both those little uh, pegs there. Now when you get back here to this section, we're just going to place down a row of four red stain clay across the back here like this. And we just want to place down a sign on this red stain clay block right here and then a stone bun on this one. Um, so just like that, kind of continuing up that shaping and pattern. Uh, then going back up here to the front, we want to grab ourselves some black carpet. We're going to place it down on top of this acacia wood top slab here. We then want to place in another brick stair on top of this acacia wood top slab with its back facing to out toward the side. We're then going to place down a narrow black carpet like this on top of this quartz stair. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair with its back facing out toward the sides. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a uh, narrow brick fence post. We're going to place down one on either side of this um, this uh, light gray stained glass block. On top of this uh, quartz block right here, we're going to place down a black carpet. Followed by a quartz half slab on either side of this um, light gray stained glass full block. And then we're just going to place down an iron trap door on both sides like so and that's pretty much the, it for the fuselage there now going ahead and moving out to the wings here uh, what we want to do for this is we're going to take our stone half slabs we're going to place down a row of two of slabs on top of these two top slabs here and then going ahead and going toward the inside here 
we're going to place down a, a row of two of um, top slabs, so like that. And then going over here to this side, we're going to place down a uh, just one uh, top slab, just like that, kind of coming off there at the angle of uh, something that should look like that. Uh, with that all finished, we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, upside down uh, narrow brick stair coming off this uh, stair kind of an angle like that and then over here we're going to go ahead and um, do a similar design on top of this narrow brick top slab here like so and then we just want to place down a narrow brick half slab in between the two upside down stairs so you get something that kind of looks like that for this uh, bracing and stuff like that on the side there and uh, everything like that once you guys have that done, that's going to basically do it for layer 7, and, or sorry, my bad, layer 8. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 9. Alright guys, so going ahead and move on to our next layer, we have layer 9. Now for layer 9, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to this row of 4 red stain cleaner for the tail here. We're going to place down a brick uh, stair on top of the one that's facing toward the, or the closest to the front there, followed by three red stain cleaner blocks after it. We're going to go ahead and continue our pattern here by placing down a stone button above this one and also a sign above um, or, you know, on this red stain clay block like that. So continuing that same pattern going up there for the tail um, and all that stuff. Now, once you have that done, uh, what's a little bit new here is we're going to go ahead and basically work on this section. Now, on top of this first light gray stained glass full block here, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by a second one and a third one going toward the front. So you can see you have a total of three here. On the other side of this first top slab that's right above the stained glass here, we're going to go ahead and place down a upside down uh, narrow brick stair facing that direction like so. Uh, we then want to place down a row of uh, two, of course, top stabs going toward the front just like that. Once you guys have that done, coming off the front one here, we're going to place down a black wool block like this. Followed by one, two, and, oops, my bad, one, two, and three quartz top stabs going back. After you have that done, coming off this uh, black wool block, we're going to place down a quartz top stab followed by one uh, stone top slab and then two quartz top slabs. For our next row over, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, stone top slab, two quartz top slabs, just like that. Or my bad, actually, these are, these are actually going to be stone full blocks. So I'll make sure that's stone full blocks um, right there. So those slabs were actually your tops of, uh, or the slabs I was referring to are actually just the tops of full blocks. All right, so when you get to this point right here, we have the stone full blocks now in place. Uh, we're going to place down three rows of four here of quartz top slabs. So just like this, after that, that row right there. So you have the three rows of, oops, my bad, uh, the three rows of four of quartz top slabs, just like that. We then want to place down a row of, uh, row of four here of iron tra tra trap doors, closed up, of course. And a row of four coming off that um, previous one right there. We then want to place down a stone uh, half slab coming off of it like so. And then we're going to place down two uh, brick stairs. One like this, on, or sorry, one narrow brick stair like this on top of the upside down one, and one right here on this one as well, just like that. And uh, once you have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for layer 9. And with that, we'll move on to our last final layers here, layers 10 and 11. We'll put the uh, top of the you know wing on and pretty much all that fun stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, so going ahead and move on to our last final layers. Now for this, I'm going to do it all on camera. It's uh, pretty easy stuff and pretty self-explanatory. So we should be able to go through it um, with relative ease. Plus I want to be able to show you guys how I did these numbers and the lettering and stuff like that on top of the wing. Exactly and all that stuff. And of course you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But it's uh, just there to add more detail to the build. And personally, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by going to the tail here. We're just going to place down a row 3 red stained clay up top of this row 3 right here. We're going to grab ourselves a stone button and also some uh, sign as well. We're going to place down a stone button on either side going and continuing with this uh, row right here. And then a sign on either side like so. On top of this uh, red stain clay block here, we're going to place down a brick stair. Followed by a red stain clay block behind it and then another brick stair like so. And then also on this red stain clay block, a stone button on either side. And that's going to basically do it for your uh, vertical stabilizer in the rear there. Now, going ahead and focusing our attention back over here to the wings itself. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead first, just make them standard, and then I'm going to show you how guys how to go back and put the numbering and lettering and all that fun stuff in. So, the first thing we want to do is you want to go ahead and place down a row of four here of iron trap doors, and then a second row of four, just like that. So, it should be on top of these two rows of four of quartz top slabs that are uh, right next to the, these um, iron trap doors right here. So, you're going to have this, these two rows of four, and then it's going to go straight into these uh, top. There are these half slabs, which should be on top of these um, these uh, iron trap doors, like so. 
Um, so we have that row right there. We're going to place down a second row of four like that. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a third row of four, like so. Uh, when you get to this, this section here, we're going to place down a uh, quartz top slab on either side. We're going to grab ourselves some brick slabs. We're going to place down two brick uh, top slabs like that. We then want to go ahead and do the same thing again for the row. So quartz uh, top slabs on the outside there and then two brick top slabs in the center. We then want to place down a row of three with an indent on the rear here. And then just a row of two with an indent from both the front and the rear. Uh, just like that to go ahead and put the wing on. And it's the same process over here. So just two rows of four of iron trap doors. Our, our uh, three rows of four here of quartz uh, half slabs. Um, two out this on either side. And two rows of two of brick slabs there in the center. A row of three like this. And then a row of two like so. So uh, very simple there for the wings and everything like that. Now uh, we, what we also want to do is we also want to go and take carpet. And we're pretty much just going to go ahead and go on top of all these top slabs. All the bottom of these blocks and stuff like that. And just go ahead and put down some white carpet to cover them up from the top here. So that they look real nice. And um, you know the wing looks very clean uh, from up above. So just putting these in really um, helps cover up all that. Um, excess stuff and all that stuff that we have going on below it. Now, uh, when you get to this point right here, um, you're pretty much good to go with the aircraft. That's the aircraft itself, very nice, and uh, you know looks uh, pretty good with the uh, with the wings there. Now, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add these um, markings onto it. At least I want to. At least I think they look pretty cool, and you know you guys can pick and choose if you want it or not. But we're going to go ahead and add it. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by working on the right side since it's a bit easier. We're going to go ahead and go to this row right here. We're going to break these two um, white carpets right there. We're going to place down two black carpets in its place. We then want to go to this row of four right here. And we're just going to place down um, black carpets that go along like that. To pretty much go ahead and make the number. It's a number one for aircraft one or something of that kind of sort. So we have something that looks just like that. Now after you have that done, we then want to go ahead and take our, um, our black carpets again. We're going to go ahead and go over here to this section. We're going to place, we're going to break three carpets right here. Place down a row of three of uh, black carpets in its place. We're then going to place down, uh, go to the very center one, place down one and two that go down from it. And then one that goes over to the left, just like that. And then off this uh, black carpet here, we're going to place down one over to the right. So you get something that looks like that, and that's going to be like the first um, letter of the first character. Now going back here, over, or going out further into the wing, we're going to go ahead and break this. Um, iron trap door here. We're going to place down a um, black carpet like that. We then want to go and uh, take our nether brick, half sabs. We're going to place down a row of three like this. And then one that goes out to the side like so. And then also we want to go ahead and go back up here to this center, nether brick half sab in that row of three. And we're just going to place down one that comes out to the side um, just like that for the care for the you know next Japanese letter. And everything like that. Again, those are optional, but I think they look really cool on the aircraft. So you guys can feel free to add them. Anyways, we do have one little thing left. We're just going to go ahead and move on to the final details, which will just be these um, cables and also um, the, the uh, propeller and all that stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the last final details. All right, guys. So we've on to our last final details. Now, what we want to do for this is we're going to start off by going to our iron bars here. Uh, we have this kind of like these iron bars, these cables that run to the back here. Um, so we want to go ahead and put those in. Now, very simply, um, you can see I outlined basically what where the iron bars are going to go. So we're going to place down one, come off this black wool block right here. We're going to go ahead and go over at an angle. We're going to place down one like this. We're going to go over at another angle here, place down another one. And again, that same angle, we're going to place down in there iron bar uh, just like this. So you basically have these four iron bars all kind of at an angle from each other like this going across. Now, when you get to this fourth iron bar here, we're going to go ahead and go up and... and uh, just up and over uh, one like that. We're not going to go at an angle at all. So something like that. We then want to go ahead and just go diagonal from this iron bar all the way over like so until we have an iron bar that fits right in between these two brick top slabs. Just like that. And you're going to do the same thing over there on that side. I'm not going to do it just to save time, but you just want to do the same thing over there. Now, uh, we also want to go ahead and go to the front up here. Now, if you want to have this thing without the props uh, in motion or anything like that, which I imagine some of you guys are going to want to uh, have it that way. Uh, how we can do this is we can go ahead and start off by taking some brick or sorry some uh, spruce wood top slabs We can place down one light or uh, one uh, top slab like this and then we can go ahead and place down a uh, Spruce wood stair that kind of goes out like so and then in there uh, spruce wood top slab out like that And we can go ahead and do the same thing down here uh, Just kind of you know doing a very similar uh, design here 
kind of copying what we did from up above there, um, but it's going to be slightly different. It can sometimes be a little difficult to figure this the placement of the stairs out a little bit, um, so bear with me as I figure that out. Um, it's a struggle, guys. And then we have the ups and down stair here, and then one uh, tops or uh, yeah, one top stab kind of going down like that. And you can just go ahead and do this all the way around um, for it. So, for example, uh, this would be the same thing over here on this side. Uh, just like this, you know, the stair going out like so. And then the, the uh, half stab coming off the top of it. So, it's like, so like that, it's going to go all the way around um, since it is a uh, four prop um, plane. So, uh, you can do that for if it's landed and not in motion. If you guys want to have this thing in motion, a good way to kind of show that is to take some um, gray stained glass. We're going to place down one and two. Going up from this, uh, this these uh, quartz half stabs here, and then coming off this, uh, going up and down. So we're gonna place these going up and down, like so, and not like so. It's a little difficult sometimes to place these. Um, and then coming off the, off the um, slabs out to the sides, we're gonna place down one, two, and three. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. Um, then uh, going to the uh, bottom or these ones right here, we're just gonna place down one and two out from this one right here in the center, and then just one out from the one on the top here. Going down here, the same thing. So this one, one, and two panes out. And then one like this out. So you kind of create a circular shape. And you'll take this all the way around and go ahead and, you know, make it for the entire thing. Um, but once you guys have that all figured out, that's going to pretty much do it for the uh, Kawanchi um, E7K1 uh, ALF uh, float plane. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the tutorial for it. Um, it's uh, definitely a really cool plane that's... Um, just awesome in general. I, lo I love it. It's uh, pretty cool. And then I think our first ever sea plane I've actually done a tutorial on. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask you guys can be proper credit for it. This be anything from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video to just bring social media sites. Just be sure you're proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It uh, helps my channel grow and it helps me, uh, you know, stay motivated to continue posting and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you uh, guys give me credit for it, you guys are free to use it for whatever project you guys are working on. Other than that, guys, thank you guys uh, for watching the video. Again, a special thanks to Patreon supporter The Red Deer for sponsoring this video and uh, making it possible and all that fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed the build, man. And, of course, check me out on Patreon if you are interested in uh, donating. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching again. As always, for like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2F4, and I'll see you guys next time.